Welcome back to Rimworld, everybody. I'm so glad to see that in the comment section, people are loving me having my ass handed to me by Randy. However, for today, and we'll just maybe do it for a couple of days, maybe even just for today, I have flipped over to Cassandra for a while just so that we can get some actual, you know, tangible progress done for once, rather than being constantly interrupted by heat waves and raids and manhunting packs and bloody insects and whatever else. So we're on Cassandra, it's still the same difficulty and everything, so it probably actually won't make that much of a difference. But Randy's just so unpredictable and doesn't really give you a break, whereas the other storytellers have to give you a break, because that's how they're designed. So right now we are, speak of the devil, in the middle of a heat wave. I've had to dismantle that comms console we got yesterday to be able to build a couple more coolers and vents and whatever, just to make sure the base is at a consistent temperature. Even then, it's, it's really not. We are down to, uh, well, certain rooms are down to the 30s. Other rooms, especially the ones not ventilated, like the bathrooms and stuff, hanging around 40 degrees. It's not a big deal. Um, obviously, that's not going to kill them or anything like that. And it's, it's certainly not life-threatening, seeing as this main area is, is 27. If they do get too hot, they can just hang out there for a little bit. But it is kind of a pain in the ass to ha now have to manage all of this stuff and dismantle things like comms consoles just to be able to, to, be able to survive. Not really that great. But anyway, let's get all of these heaters turned off as well. That certainly wouldn't hurt. It's, it's not going to affect things too much. All it's going to do is save us some power. It's actually not going to change the temperature at all there. But it might, it might just, I don't know, might, might just drop it down by a degree or something like that. Um, I would love to build another cooler as well, but we actually just don't have the resource for it. Despite the fact that we spent all that time and effort in the quarry, still only got 52 steel. Um, and still don't have any marble blocks to show for it either. So, quarry is very slow. Like I said, it's, it's how I personally like it balanced. It's a lot more nerfed than how the quarries are in the base game. However, this one, I think, has a lot more uses. But again, as you can see here, we're not actually getting a huge amount of resources from it. But we've got so many other mods that can allow us to increase that chance. You know, with the tools mods, with the outfit mods as well. Having the quarry just set to the base level, what it comes with in the mod will be super, super overpowered. Anyway, um, hopefully this heat wave can piss off forever. Because this is actually probably going to kill us unless it goes away soon. Because they, well, they can't work in the quarry all day trying to get more resources for the coolers if they try it they're just gonna die in, of, of heat stroke or whatever oh good oh good off to a swimming start to a swimming start uh what is it it's a scyther okay it's one scyther it's really not a big deal now on the subject of that playing on medium is actually a lot harder than you might think because we do have uh you know on medium that they might still send us the occasional manhunter pack and whatever but it's not just like a manhunter pack of sheep or rabbits or at worst, we're just getting base game reward like lynxes or something like that. This, it could be literally a manhunt pack of, of Tyrannosaurus Rexes. So, we do have to bear that in mind. And we've also got the additional factions added by Rincidor, which all tend to have quite powerful weaponry. At least from what I've seen, having played it previously. I don't know how well balanced it is either. So, our medium is more likely. And you've got to remember, we've got shit like hygiene mods and other sort of garbage like that as well. Our medium is probably a little bit closer to uh, the, the, the harder difficulty settings especially. Right, okay, let's... um. I guess we'll just send John and Logan. To be honest, we don't really need to have to worry about it immediately. Let's let the boy get a little bit closer first before we go out there. Because obviously we don't want to spend too long outside because of the bloody heat wave. Okay, go on then. That's probably that's probably close enough. Gun him down. He is just a sight. I didn't even bother to check if he had a charge lance or a blade there. Luckily he does have the blade. Take him down, John. Great shot. That's absolutely incredible, kid. One in a million. Right, this time... Incredible stuff. Okay, 77%. Right, let's start kiting, boys. Run, run, run as little... Legs will carry you fast, please. Incredible shot. Oh, God. This is going to be protracted and take ages. I don't want to run them too far away from the base, though. Ideally, we want to keep them re relatively close to the base so that if they start suffering from heat stroke, we can get into safety pretty quick. Come on. I'm going to keep them still. I have faith. I have faith. Do not falter. Do not show weakness. That's what you get. That's what that's bravery being rewarded right, right there. Thank you, Rimworld. Very cool. Thanks, Randy. Okay. Um. Oh no, empty spot configured to store scythes, huh? Um. Definitely want to change that. Let's go for. Oh, I don't know. I guess we can just stick them in here for now. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh. Mechanoid. Sorry. What's a paragon corpse? What's a what's a chaomorph? Ch chaomorph? Chowmorph? What like Sonic in the little garden? Um. And then we've also got paragon corpse. I have no idea what paragon corpses. I wish I knew what they were. Paragon rat corpse. Dead body of a paragon rat. When we last played Genetic Rim, we never came across a paragon anything. Is that like a... Is that like an extremely well-bred, like a super pre pedigree version of them, perhaps? I don't know what a night thrombo is either, but that sounds incredible. Is that like the, the world's greatest pig right there? Is it Maybe it's just bigger and provides more... I don't know, more... I was going to say milk. You don't generally milk pigs, but you sort of get what I'm saying. They maybe provide more of a yield. Speaking of the devil, okay. Um, Do we want to try and tame them? 
Do we want to try and tame a Thrombo? We've tried this before. I think it was like episode 2 or something and obviously didn't succeed. Now, Thrombos will eat uh, everything. Generally, generally, just absolutely fucking everything. So, you've got to be very careful when it comes to taming them. We've got to make sure that it ca it's absolutely never allowed in the freezer and absolutely never allowed on the farms. Otherwise, it will just devour absolutely everything your base has to offer. This means that we are going to have to move John back onto animals for a while. I think that's more than fair. He does have... Actually, he's got quite a lot of skill on animals now, huh? 16, probably because he's been training this, this infinite amount of muffalo we have. How many have we got right now? That's a good amount. That's nice. We should probably keep all the animals in area one so they don't wander off too far and get themselves uh, get themselves killed. So the, the zoo aspect of things is going pretty good. We've got a squirrel, got three muffalope, four muffalope, and two actual dinosaurs there. Very nice. I'm sure people would be willing to pay a fortune for that. John, let's get ourselves a thrombo because that really would make this zoo worthwhile. Um, wh sorry, why, why can't you do that? Can I mount? Oh, yeah, obviously. Uh, I'm not, I'm not asking you to do that, pal. I'm just asking you to go and tame it for me. Um, I guess if we draft an undraft. Oh, after he's eating his meal, maybe he'll go and do it immediately. He should do. I just want to keep close on it. Take him right. Tame it, tame it, throw it. There we go. Okay. Just wanted to make sure, because we've had, had it previously where that didn't actually work first time. Just going to be careful he doesn't die. 2.2%. It's something. It's not incredible, but it is, a, it, it is possible if we get extremely lucky here. Of course, the more he tries, obviously, the more his skill is going to increase as well. Oh, yeah, that's worth mentioning as well. There was a little bit of confusion about the water tower. So somebody said that the water tower was contaminated. Now, it's not contaminated, but I know what you're trying to say. So so untreated groundwater does have a small disease risk. That's not why they're getting diarrhea constantly. The disease you get from it is gut worms, as far as I know. I, I might be wrong on this, but this is how it was explained to me. So um, technically, it's the other commenter that was wrong and definitely not my fault. But... Um, I, I believe you can get goblins from it. It's like an actual disease, not just diarrhea. That is from them just literally being bedridden. Speak of the devil, Logan's also got the flu again, by the way. That happened while I was loading in and getting everything set up for the record. Um, but but because they actually can't get to a basin and they're still being given fluids, they can't wash their hands while, after they've done with the bathroom or whatever. Then they get fed food. That counts as them, you, you know, getting diarrhea or whatever. So that's actually nothing to do with the water. But because it's untreated, there is a much higher chance of getting worms. Now, what we could do is we could install this water treatment facility, which would prevent that. There's no reason not to, I guess. There is no reason not to. Uh, we do need to install it on wherever there's plumbing. So let's just quickly take a look. Yeah, we could put it in this top right corner. Uh, and that would basically make it so that as long as we've got power, it does need a new component, but we've got, uh, obviously, a mountain of components there. As long as we've got power, in theory, we could never get, uh, ill from, from this. Let's go ahead and get that, uh, the other guy can repair it. Let's just get it set online. How are we looking? 800 watts is actually quite expensive. We can't really afford to keep it running right now. Huh. Um. Damn, that is a lot of power, though, huh? Shit. Well, how much chem fuel we got? Oh, 1,037. Fuck it. Let's just build another chem fuel power generator. Oh, we haven't got any steel, have we? My god, we've got an absolute dearth of steel. What's going on? I need to double check the settings for this, because I feel like we're... Well, I mean, we could just go and mine this steel manually down here. This would actually probably be infinitely quicker. Um, right, let's set all of those who can mine. Let's set all, all of those guys who spend most of their time in the quarry, which I believe is just Ryla and Logan for the most most part. Mark those guys are super high mining. Let's at least go and get some chunks of steel here just so we can build coolers or, or research bench. That's the other thing I was going to mention. That's the one thing we really need to get done today. Research bench, and I would love to get multi-analyzers down as well. Oh, fuck off. What is with this game? We've got dinosaurs kicking down the front door now. Clever girl. At least this one actually came over here. Right, Stella Mac, I need you to hide away for me, my friend. Logan, are you going to be all right? Is he going to be able to knock that door down? Maybe we should go... I, I want to say let's go round, but honestly... Oh, there we go. Right, right, okay, that's fine. Operation, kite him away from the base, as per usual. Come on, this is all down to you now, John. Stella, you can go back about your business. Let me let me undraft you for a second, because John can lure him away from the base, if nothing else. Again, we can't go too far away, because funnily enough, haha, <laughs> still heatwave. Ryla? Ryla? Back off. Back off, Ryla. Okay, it's, it's fine. Leave it to John. Leave it to, leave it to Bovine John and his magical hooves. Outrun, <laughs> outrun anything when he puts his mind to it. Come on, this is ridiculous. Charge rifles, I feel like we're playing with a mod that's nerfed them or something, because I don't remember them. Ah, oh, god damn it. Don't remember them being quite this weak. I mean, especially in the, in the hands of a guy with 18 shooting. Almost 19 shooting there. They're just seeming incredibly underpowered now. I don't, I don't know whether we've got some sort of balancing mod. Maybe Brimson or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. But they just seem so lackluster these days, huh? The heat wave is over. Thank God. Okay, right. We're good then. So we can now kind of spend time going for that extra steel and whatnot that was quite far away and not actually have to worry about anyone dropping down dead. I've given Seven. This, this is kind of cool. I've given her... Both of those feral pistols dual wielded because Ryla's got the nail gun and Stella is incapable of violent. So I thought we'd put it in the hands of a lunatic here. They've got such low shooting stat that I think they need all the help they can get. Can we sort of test fire it and see what they're like? Interesting. 
They actually seem like they could be pretty good in the hands of someone a bit more. Maybe we should give them to John. Is the DPS any better? Um, let's check out the DPS here. So if we gave him two of those... Wait, could the nail guns be dual-wielded? You imagine both of those in the hands of John. That would be unreal. Um, you know what? I'm kind of on board. I think that'd be kind of ridiculous. Okay. I, I want to try it. I want to try it. Uh, Logan, can I get you to shut that on the floor? Oh, you have to get out of bed to do that. What the fuck are you on about, my friend? Okay, never mind. Uh, go have your meal then. Where's where's the other one? Ryla, you have one as well. Where are you right now? Uh, out in the field. Right, let's drop that on the floor. Thank you. All right, Sever, you are going to drop your two weapons over here just because I want to see what it looks like primarily more than anything else. At close range, it's going to make John just unstoppable. With his movement speed as well, this actually could be a really, really good idea. We can let enemies get super close and then just outrun them or back off and put a load of distance between us in a very short amount of time. Right, so we got Logan to whenever he's done equip, uh, consuming his meal. Come and equip these. Let's queue that up. Let's get Ryla to queue that one up as a... Sidearm, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much. And then John, you are going to equip... Where is it? She stood on it? Uh, yeah, she's done it. Equip the nail gun. And then the other one, which is... Please tell me we can equip this offhand. Why, why did you drop that again? There it is. Uh, sidearm. Ah, uh, we're in two-handed weapon. All right, never mind then. Never mind. We'll stick with your, stick with your charge rifle, I guess. It doesn't matter. Really, really hoping we can get these goddamn outfits done as well. Because we've had unhappy nudity with, with so many colonists. Bear in mind, Ryla's just wearing a t-shirt and overalls. Logan's wearing um what looks to be just a crop top at this stage. And Stella's wearing a bloody ghillie suit. So she's blended in with the background. But we actually could do with some clothes for for everyone. So the second that's done, that's another big task. Along with building the advanced research bench. Which, speaking of which, let's actually put that thing back down. Just in case we do get enough resources to build it. Because they are obviously mining a decent amount of steel out from here. Where has all of that gone to? What did they do with all of that steel? Have I got stuff queued up? Uh, power conduits, sure, but that's not going to use all that steel. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll keep an eye on I'm sure it'll turn up at some point. Let's just make sure this is down so that they, if they can build up, they will obviously will build it as soon as possible. Leave a lot of room for the multi analyzer I'm sure there are other buildings in this massive, massive mod pack that are capable of giving research bonuses. I think we're playing with the linkables mod, so uh, scientist cabinet would also basically do the same thing. Yeah, man, there is so fucking much stuff, huh? Look at the different types of power arm we've got. Magnetic plasma matrix, energy crucible. What is all of this stuff? Nano scale what? <laughs> oh, thank God. Right, that seems like it took bloody ages. Let's get down a tailor bench then as soon as possible. Let's do tailor bench. <laughs> I'm going to steal. Ha ha ha. Um, plastil, will that work? Oh, you just need you just need steel for the base, don't you? Okay, that's that's genuinely really annoying. Um I mean what have we even got to build out of? We've got enough wood to actually... Okay, we've got enough wood. We are just lacking the steel. Sure. Let's just put that down for the time being then. And we'll worry about the actual logistics of it later on. We'll put it close to the middle of the room. That way, if we want to put down the workbenches or whatever, it will give bonuses in a larger area. Okay. Well, it won't give a bonus in a larger area, but we'll make a more effective space of the radius of the workbench. That'll do. That'll do. That's all I'm doing for the time being. Oh, they are delivering resources. That. Where is this steel coming from then? Are they delivering it from just directly from here? Oh my god. Now Logan's back up on his feet now that the flu's gone. He's, he's turned out a load of steel. Maybe I shouldn't focus on the quarry so much, because it seems like it could be a waste of time. We still haven't turned that bloody thrombo either, John. What are you playing at? There is overhead roof. Otherwise, I would just say let's mine all designations. Is that whole thing just steel? My god, it is. Wow. Uh, this stuff isn't. And to be honest, that would be enough to hold the roof up, because it's eight blocks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's more than enough. That's only six blocks that way. So it's less of that way. That should work. I'm going to have to mine all of that shit out, and in theory, unless that is also roof and we just don't have the vision on it. Um, but to, they're not going to mine it out, though, so it's not going to make any difference. Even if that is steel, it won't collapse on them. We can just now leave that and not pay attention to it, and in theory, just start making a bunch of steel, because that's what we need for all of our different benches. You know, even if you want to build the tool cabinet, eventually, that is also what, like, uh, like another 200 steel, right? It's quite expensive. Yeah, and we've got to rebuild the comms console, because I had to take that apart to build the, uh, to rebuild the, the coolers. Ah, there we go. That's what they spent the steel on. So the dual refrigerator is going to make meals a lot more convenient. I'm actually going to clear all. Let's set that to critical. Uh, let's search for, well, there we go. That's answered my question. I'm going to go lavish meals and simple meals. Probably never going to make fine meals. If you can make fine meals, chance are you don't need much more to make it to lavish. Anyway, we just got like a rotten insect in our freezer. That's how, that's hideous. I mean, just imagine walking into your freezer door and seeing a gigantic 20-foot rotten insect carcass just lying there. That's really, really awful. And what's the temperature in the freezer right now? It is minus 8, so I guess it must have just been rotten before they hauled it in. What? Huh. We definitely haven't had a power outage because, of course, we still got a ridiculous amount of rice there. I don't know what's happened with that. It doesn't really matter. Right, let's get all these meals hauled over then, just save ourselves a little bit of time. So we actually want to go to this one and say important rather than critical. That should let us... There we go, haul it back over. So 
we've also got a mob that will make them prioritize eating food in the room they get it from. So if they're getting food from the dining room, and it also makes this whole process a lot more, uh, a lot more convenient as well. She's not running back and forth and back and forth. That makes the whole thing. Oh, is, oh I call this. Sorry, I'm going to be running back and forth to the freezer all the time. Just makes the whole thing a lot more effective. And that should be our high-tech research bench up and running. How are we doing with power, by the way? Yeah, we definitely need more power generators. We've got enough chem fuel to last us a lifetime. So I think this is uh, this is good to get done sooner rather than later so we can start building up and maybe even build some more batteries as well. Right, wooden research bench. You can go, my friend. You are you are going to be decommissioned and we'll put that wood to uh, hopefully some good use there. Or all 50, 50, 60. That was actually way more than I thought. Right, let's expand that area out as well. Shouldn't really put it right in front of the doors, but... I'm not, I'm not that caring. It's as too min maxi for me. Right, what do we need? Uh, just 100 steel for that. That's not too bad. How are we looking over here? Oh, we've more than got that. She's got to wait on someone to deliver it now. That generator was just what we needed. So we're now at 319 watts over the grid. That's going to start charging the batteries. Just, it's, it's, it's a nice amount, you know. It's not so much that our chem fuel is going to waste, but it's enough to give a nice little safety net. That's sort of the, the, the good zone that we're aiming for. Riley just got their ass handed to them by some random little insect that went mad. Or this little, uh... Bioplume looking thing. Just went mad and, and tried to take out Ryla. They look as if they're in a bad way. It's all just bruises. You can see there's no bleeding there. So they're fine. Just go to limp home. Just go to collapse on the floor. That's that's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, John, sorry. If you could uh, if you could just wake up and quickly rescue Ryla. Because, haha, another character down. That's good. Uh, right, let's, let's, let's get her patched up as well. If you don't mind. Sorry, if it's not too much effort. I know you want to go to bed and everything. It's not like she's literally dying on the floor. She's immediately back up again. Were you just being lazy? Ryla... Ryla, this colony is falling apart, and it's all your fault. It's really not, actually. We're doing, I, I think, quite well right now. Um, what's going on with this bedroom, huh? It's, like, weirdly half-built. Oh, my God, we got Quality Builder enabled. Right, right, so with Quality Builder, obviously, only the best builder can build it, uh, which in this case is John. So I'm going to quickly just have him force prioritize a whole bunch of shit here, just to make sure it's all out of the way and dealt with. Um, otherwise, we'll just sit there and do research. That's fine, but I think just getting this done as soon as possible so that we have a, a better, more convenient bedroom. This is meant to be a prison. This was only like a temporary bedroom. It's in complete pitch black darkness as well. Right, we need more marble blocks. So let's flip this over for the time being. Two chisel blocks. They should be working on this steel. Uh, bandic oh, thank God. I thought that was another bloody problem then for a second. Um, so let's have you quarry. Let's have you not bother. Let's have you mine instead. See, especially as you're injured, keeping you quite close to home might help out a little bit more. And John absolutely trucking on there in the background like the soldier is. He's just finished the tool research as well. Let's move on to multi-analyzers. I would love to get a hospital set up. Excuse me? I would love to get a hospital set up as well today is what I was about to say before Steam decided to take a screenshot. 4,000 research. Um... That's going to be a lot to ask to get that and the hospital-related shit done today. But you know what? We're going to bloody try. What's be tender? Oh, bad temperature in here. Really? Oh, it's 35 degrees. Right, fair enough. Um, I'm not going to bother venting this room into the base and have the other coolers deal with it. We're just going to build him a dedicated cooler because it's quite a large room after all. Um, I guess we'll just put it right above him. Why not? Uh, we've got enough steel for that. Oh, my God. We've got mountains of steel now. Hey, that's really good to see. Right, so one thing we want to do as well. Have we got a good tailor? Uh, <laughs> we do. His name is... Fucking John. Okay, uh, we want to make anything that really suits our job. So overalls are pretty good, right? Those give a plant work speed of 10%. Carrying capacity plus 15 is obviously very, very nice as well. What are those counters? Those are top level, right? Oh, the middle level. Weird. Okay. Um, it's weird that they would be called overalls given that they go over only the bottom layer. Should really call them middle alls. Um, <laughs> that's an odd name. I'd have called them Chaz Wazzers. What else we got here? Uh, chef's uniform. Chef's toque. Fool of a tool. Who is, our, who is our cook? It's Ryla, right? Might actually want to chuck Ryla that and just have them cook forever. There's no harm in doing that, to be honest. It would help build up their cooking skill as well. And honestly, having a ridiculous amount of meals. Downside to that is if we have a slow to flare for an extended period of time. Or get super unlucky and have simultaneous slow to flares. I don't know if that can happen. Maybe suddenly run out of power for some strange, unpredictable reason. Then all of the meals go to waste. But even then, if it's just simple meals. Um, should we get to something more useful? Right? What else are you good at? Cooking, plants to some extent. Again, I think the plant work speed is maybe a bit more relevant. Builder's jacket is incredibly good. Success chance and obviously work right there. Boots? Can we just give everybody boots? Give some move speed. Fuck it. Make everyone a pair of boots. What's that? Five people? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, animal clothes? Yes. Put my muffalo into pieces. This is my last resort. What do we want to do? I want to put him in a, I want to put him in this animal outfit. Uh, how do I know what it can fit on, though? Well, I'm saying, like, will this fit? Ah, currently wearable by Alpaca, Lynx, Mega Sloth, Thrombo, or Warg. None of those. What about a bridle? Surely that can fit on a Thrombo as well. You can't give a horse a bridle. What the hell are you talking about? There are even horses in Rimworld in hindsight. Um, 
a cape gives pain shock threshold plus 10 percent why because you're that cool that you don't look at explosions i don't understand that Ooh, jumpsuits give a global work speed of 15 percent fuck well give me some of them uh <laughs> give me some of that boys well that's bottom layer right uh skin layer nice okay uh which is bottom layer by the way overalls we could have that as well so that gives uh, a nice cumulative 25% bonus to certain work speeds, depending on what we're doing. I mean, I assume Builder's Jacket is also... Is that middle layer? Oh, that's outer layer. Shit, wow. So you could have a Builder's Jacket and, uh, and, a, a, and a coverall, or whatever the hell they were called. Obviously, but we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, this is going to be kind of weird to get the combination right, but I'm, I'm seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of potential here for min-maxing just an insane amount. Oh, summer hat? It's a bit odd. Um... It's got, like, different types of scrap armor as well. 100 steel and 1 steel slag chunk. That's really, really strange, but it does give some all right bonuses for the early game, which is obviously when you'd be crafting that thing. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely jumpsuit. So let's make a couple of overalls as well. Is there anything that affects mining speed? That's the one thing I was really after. You'd assume that, I don't know, like a, like a hard hat maybe? Uh, I was like, give animal gather speed, what, for a fleece shirt? Can't say I understand it. Um, social impact. Chef's uniforms are probably not going to help out mining last time I checked. Builder's jacket, potentially. Repair chance. Okay, never mind. Yeah, um, I guess that's really it. There might be some other work clothes in the future that we've got on a lot. Some advanced work clothes or some shit. Um, so that's already good, honestly. The, the jumpsuit given the 15% bonus, in my opinion, is good enough just to give everybody one of those. And seeing as there aren't really any specialized jobs, I'm also going to make five loads of uh, overalls as well, just because the carrying capacity is actually quite nice. It might not seem super relevant. Even just for our haulers, it will save them a couple of journeys if they're doing... Even if bringing all that steel over, for example, is, is, is the, uh, the prime scenario where this is going to be super, super useful. Um, besides that, though... It's all I can really think of uh, that's worth making right now. Maybe the fleece shirt, but I think the overalls... Fuck it. Let's not, let's not get mired in outfit management. This isn't The Sims. Right. What's next then? So, tools are also done. So, we want to build ourselves... I assume an electric smithy would forge that. Um, yeah, right? Or maybe machining table, but I very much doubt that. Let's put down the electric smithy next then. So, John, if you could work on that one. Honestly, we're getting enough stuff here. I'm, I'm more than tempted to put down a work cabinet too, because we've got plenty of steel. Well, it's only going to give a tiny little bonus, but it will kind of add up when we're making this much shit. Especially because it's John as well. It's more time we've got to take out of his day, so as much time as we can save here, the better as far as I'm concerned. It will make most sense if the first thing we did was make him a jumpsuit to give him that 15% work speed for the future. Let's do that right now. John, make yourself a jumpsuit, because you this, this is uh, this is going to give us so much more compounded time. Right, force wear that. Boom. Was he wearing a... What was that? He wearing a skirt and a... Synthread? What's it got, like, the RimWorld logo on it? It's always got that? Maybe it's just where it's Synthread. I don't know. Alright, that's the jumpsuits out of the way. Uh, what's he working on next? Here? Just gonna work on the boots. That's absolutely fine as well. Let's make sure everybody's got a pair of boots. It's a minor amount of work speed. Uh, actually, what was the move speed on that? Would that cancel out? That's a lot. That's, like, almost enough to cancel out power armor, right? Isn't that, like, 0 0.15? I don't entirely remember now, but that, that seems like a quite a good amount for what I assume is just going to take up a random normally on you slot, right? You don't normally have boots in RimWorld, as far as I recall. Was it like a like a bonus slot, maybe? I don't know. Let's give it a go. I'll wait for him to finish the lot, and then we'll, we'll make sure everybody's getting equal boots. I want John to have the best boots, though, because he kind of kind of deserves it, you know? Uh, excuse me. I want you to... Sorry, John. I was me clicking on cloth. Like, why can't you wear boots, Mr. Cloth? Right, there we go. Um, Logan, get yourself some boots. Ryla, get yourself... Uh, you deserve some good boots. Actually, Logan, you deserve good boots as well, my friend. Sever, you get those. And Stella, you get those. Okay. Man, this is uh, this has been a real massive upgrade. And it feels like we haven't really, we haven't really done a huge amount, but that is that is really really nice. And none of this would have been possible for, uh, unless it wasn't for that original cloth harvest that we had sort of up here a couple of episodes back. So this is really really paid for itself. Look at that. There we go. Everyone's got themselves a nice pair of work shoes. Oh, someone was wearing shoes there. And what slot does that go in? Yeah, it d does count as an entirely separate slot. Very nice, because that's your leg slot right there, and that would be your, your shield belt, yeah. Okay, um, let's get you wearing these as well. Boom. Let's get ourselves the overalls. We've got ourselves the uh, the work speed there. Oh my god, that also gives a movement speed. Our guys are going to be flying around the base. So the next job then is what tools do we want to give to everybody? So naturally, I'm going to churn out a couple of pickaxes. One for Logan, one for Ryla. Actually, to be fair, Ryla I should leave just on the plants. On the axe is pretty good. There's another thing we can make for, for plants, isn't there? Um, I mean, Axe is definitely one of them. Was there not another weapon that was better for... Actually, I don't remember. Let's have a, let's have a quick sort of look through here. Hammer, good for construction. Sever is going to be our dedicated builder there. Um, obviously, Pickaxe, we need potentially two of those. I will make two, and then we'll have Ryler equip 
that as a sidearm, and then whatever else we decide that person in particular needs. They're also our cook, so we could give them the uh, the, the cleaver, but it's very rare that we actually butcher creatures. Um, plus, you know, butcher speed is already quite high anyway. Uh, scalpel, obviously very useful to have as a generic sidearm for John as well. Uh, I guess that is it for the... Oh, and then, of course, construction, too. Hammer and wrench. Actually, which is better? Wrench gives success chance plus 15%, disassembly plus 15%, and repair chance. The hammer gives smithing speed and smoothing speed. Oh, and construction speed plus 33% is massive. Yeah, okay, stick with the hammer then. Right, so who hasn't got a sidearm? Just Stella, but to be fair, Stella can't really do much besides Hall. Um, and, of course, she is incapable of combat as well. What, what are you good at, exactly? Artistic. Is there anything that gives artistic, like a chisel? Uh... Got any of that? Got any of that artistic stuff? I'm going to assume a blowgun isn't particularly good for artistic in hindsight. Um, yeah, you might just be on your own here. Can't really do much for you, my friend. Find a better line of work. You know, this isn't my fault. This is your fault. Okay? Should have got a different degree, my friend. Okay, honestly, that's going to be a lot of bonus for the colony. Just with that very... It might not seem like too much. Just giving them a whole bunch of clothes, giving them some tools. But that's really, really going to compound to quite a, quite a massive work speed bonus for Logan. You know, Logan, especially with his pickaxe, with his already great trait, that Rockhound one, is, is obviously incredible. Mining yield, mining speed uh, increases from that one. Plus the pickaxe, plus the overalls, plus the... You know, even the boots for the movement speed actually getting to where he needs to go a lot faster as well. This is good. This is really going to accelerate the colony massively. With that bedroom finished, I think we might as well just turn all of this into an indoor area. That way, if we do need to expand the stockpile, or if you want to work on a dedicated workroom with all those different variable linkables mod, we can put it all in here and, and have it safely connected. I'll probably flip it around, actually use this as the stockpile. This is the workroom. It just makes a bit more sense. That way, we can link the farms straight up to the stockpile. If we've got any excess, or if you want to hold any cloth or whatever, it's very simple for them just to bring it straight through a wood, especially when we get around to uh, planting trees and whatnot. I want to mine some Samba and actually start on the Jurassic World stuff, but I, I want to get the multi analyzer obviously set up first. Where's this fucking power station? I've got to see what this is, huh? It's so gigantic. What the hell does it do? Um, which way around is it supposed to be as well, huh? I think it's like that. I mean, I'm just judging based on, you know, it's sort of uh, relative position to the image there. Let's put down a power station. It looks cool. That's the only reason I'm building it. That's the only reason I'm building this. It looks cool. I don't know how much power it produces, how it produces power, or anything like that. Um... Guess we'll just put it like. Do we need the power though? I'm just building it because it looks. It seems kind of a waste. No, it isn't a waste though. Still bloody main gate. Oh my god, it's like almost the perfect size for the road. If only the road was either one block thicker or one block smaller. Let's let's put it down. Let's stick it down. Welcome, my friends, to almost ready to open for business. We've got the dinosaurs. We just need to actually build the park now. Let's do. Well, I, 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 we've got the dinosaurs. I mean, we've got two friggin' dinosaurs. Let's do it. There it is. Not copyrighted. That doesn't say that. That that you have to read it as Jurassic. Juras Sick is actually what it's named after. My good friend Jura, last name Sick. Uh, wow. It's a gate that they can't even use by the looks of it. They actually path around it actively. How annoying. Um, how does that work with walls then? Steel main gate. We're gonna have to see how that works with walls because if they actually can't walk, oh, they can walk through it. It's just for some reason they also choose to path around it. Very weird. That's a lot of stuff under structure. My god, where do we start then? I guess we'll go for walls. Uh, slate walls? Um, where can't we build it? Okay, so we can actually build them, like, directly across. Would that not look weird? But that would also be where they can pass through. Wait, what the fuck is this? So, actually, we would have to build it there? That would look a bit better, doing it like that, and it would also stop them coming through. Let's do it. Let's put down these walls here and actually force it. If, if raiders are going to come and kill us, they have to go through the main gate. That's the they have to they have to pay for a goddamn ticket. They can come and kill us and take our kidneys, but my god, are that we get them through the front door here? I also kind of love the idea of testing out some of these Jurassic Park, like specifically Jurassic Park Century turrets, which I don't really remember. Um, and maybe having like some gigantic fuck off power station, and then right around the corner from where they're coming through the main gate, just have like a line of turrets, so that if we do get raiders, we don't really have to interrupt what we're doing. They're just going to immediately get hopefully glad by these turrets. What sort of gap do we need? Oh, they can connect up quite. Nice here. Let's give him a gap just so that we can pass through it. This could be kind of cool. I, I, I just don't even want to see the art style and just see what they've actually designed here to see if uh, see if there's something we want to play around with. Because obviously we've got so many mods right now. We don't necessarily need to be using the Jurassic Park mods specifically for the Jurassic Park playthrough. It would be nice though. Let's just see what they look like for the time being before we really commit to this. Uh, we've got enough resources for this though, John. You see, you're very eager to do that. But I thought we didn't have any steel about 30 fucking seconds ago. What are we looking at? Man, he's got loads. I guess our boy's been at work. Yeah. 
He's been at work doing nothing but this for days and days on end. He's, he's completely changed the face of the colony. Logan, you were, to say that you were just a random man that wanted in, you've been a really valuable recruit. That looks like shit. Uh, oh, did I say that out loud? I mean, it doesn't look very rimworld does it? It doesn't look like shit at all. That's not right. But it looks like something out of fucking Command and Conquer rather than RimWorld. Um, it's like too detailed, especially like around all these pylons and stuff. You can sort of see the, uh, you can see the, the odd pixelation going on there. Turrets look pretty good though. Uh, they, they look very rustic. They look a bit more, uh, look a bit more brutalist than the base game RimWorld turrets, but they look cool. All right. I well, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really care what they look like particularly, just as long as they can kill the bad man good. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. They don't use fuel? Wait, What? Am I understanding that right? So we just stick it down. It just makes power. Great. So we got like a perpetual. Maybe we will avoid using these Jurassic Park mods. We'll see how powerful this turret is. Um, maybe it's just designed specifically to have a base with dinosaurs in it. I don't really know. Um, we can't, unfortunately, manually fire with it. We can't just like, shoot a wall or shoot one of our guys. These might be a little bit OP. That alone. The fact that all you have to do is put some research. It's basically a vanimetric power cell that you can just build yourself. It's way too powerful. It's way, way too powerful. We're definitely not going to keep that thing kicking around for too long. I'll tell you that much. Um, what else did they? What else have they got? Can we just like churn out infinite food as well with this thing? I mean, clearly we can operate it because there's a there's a means to do so. There's a, a chair icon. Um, let's put down a vending machine and see what that does for us. I guess. Go, John. Build me a vending machine. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I know it's 10 o'clock p.m. and you're trying to sleep, but I'm very interested in what this thing does. Uh, oh, oh, that's nice. We can spend. 10 silver to buy a can of drink. What does it do? Products five times sauna punch. Okay, go ahead and buy me a drink. What the fuck does that do then? Maybe maybe it's something if we drink it, it gives, uh, gives an effect. Uh, oh, it counts as recreation. Right, it's a soda. That's cool. That's actually a really good idea. I, I really like that. I rate that. Um, the infinite power, maybe not so much, but that's kind of a cool little feature. Let's get some snacks down as well. Thank you for watching. I will admit, without Randy, it's been very dull. I, I, will, I will admit that. Well, it's not been dull because obviously we've got a lot of done in terms of gameplay. I mean, look at all this, all this progress here with the, with the, with the benches and the water filtration and the, and the snack machine. Who could forget the goddamn snack machine? Huh? But I feel like we've, uh, we've done a lot of good things here today. I will flip back over to Rani for tomorrow, though. I didn't realize it'd be quite this easy. Rani was just obviously out for blood. We need to test this out and see if it's thoroughly overpowered. And I think the best way to do it is flip over back to Rani and let the raids roll in, because uh, I kind of worry that this might be incredibly powerful. But hey, that's tomorrow's problem now thank you all for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this it's gonna be a bit more lively after this uh almost done with the multi-analyzer too don't forget we're like uh i would say i would say we're like four ninths of the way there that's very non-committal. Thank you to Aiden W, Alpha Scuff, Anthony Gawley, Asuna Kurito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Sidini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Emerald Beam, Fakuna Vasquez, Fluffinutter, Ghost Protocol, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Kenny Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Ratful, Natbuskus 911, Nathan Flores, Necrophilum, Pelvis Presley, Rodin, Richard Clark, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Stannis the Manus, Shayok, Swain, The Forsaken One, Tibet Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Talakano, Vacuus Packers, and William Green, who are committal. These guys who have supported the channel at the insane tier levels on patreon they've gone far above and beyond the call of duty i'll be getting in touch about names as well we've, we've definitely got to sort out some of the names for these characters logan is cool and all but it just makes me think of the film logan or the x-men character logan so i would like to i mean they're one and the same i don't know why i've made it sound like those were completely separate things we do need to rename these guys as well because none of these names they haven't got character they haven't got story you know who's got good character and story the patrons they've not let me down yet so we're absolutely going to roll with that one and a thank you as well has to go out to astro and a person andrew walsh andrew wilson attila austin taylor board doom ben trope best Max, better valerian black double h chris Corey, ca david van diepen don and connie Super seven easy to pronounce name eric Fowl, exploding knees foosh Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Gompo, Gray, Haji Damar, Henrik Stensgaard, Icarus, Ice of the Great, Ida, Irish, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, James Shea, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoranda Bruce, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Mustolp, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimal, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Rodrigo, Ryan Hooper, Smirtworm, Spencer Powell, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Bloody Knight, The Insane Pickle, Belonkery, Baragon, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Will Wade, Wilson, Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. Thank you guys for your support. I shall see you all tomorrow for hopefully some more wacky dinosaur adventure. I want Randy to just self. Let's send us a T Rex, my boy. Random T Rex wanders into the area, and then we've done it.